What's up everyone, wanted to do a video today uh, with World's Ultimate Strongman coming up in Dubai. That's on February 27th, as you can see right here. Yeah, I wanted to do a quick video and just talk about it. Um, I'm going to try and do some profiles for each of the athletes coming up as well. Um, but yeah, so, th so far they have five events announced. So the first one is the Axel death lift um so starting at 320 kilograms going up to 440 it's a rising bar event where athletes must lift and load each of the six increments from 320 to 440 kilograms in the fastest time possible so um pretty cool but the only difference is that with this one they have no loaders no spotters just the athletes, some heavyweights, and an axle bar. So kind of interesting idea having the athletes, um, I think it's going to be a single bar, um, and have the athletes actually go and have to load each of their own weights. So I'm assuming that they'll have it, uh, they'll have the, the weights set up, um, stacked, prepared, so that the athletes can lift it, put the next weight set on and then lift and just go that way through all six um kind of fun very different way to do it i'm not sure uh i'm not completely sure how they're gonna how they're gonna make it work because if you're using straps or anything like that um you're gonna have to reset the straps each time so it might be might be kind of tricky but kind of a fun event fun take on an axle deadlift um next event is going to be a mystery event so they have not announced what this one's going to be this is fun i know it's it's uh kind of frustrating for the athletes because when you're getting ready for a contest you want to know what to prep where to peak what you want to uh, be preparing for and when you have something like this it makes it tough because who knows, basically. Um, knowing, uh, seeing the past um, competitions that World Ultimate Strongman has put on, I'm assuming it's going to be either a truck pull or a yoke walk, something along those lines. Um, I know in the past they had some super crazy looking Mad Max uh, style trucks and stuff like that. So I'm assuming that they're going to do something along those lines, but we'll just have to wait and see um yeah no weights posted no anything so it it, it says that it, it'll be uh, revealed on the day in bahrain behind a shield and concealed so athletes cannot train so i'm assuming it's going to be something kind of smaller then uh maybe not a truck if they're hiding it behind a shield depending on how big the shield is but yeah it could be kind of fun that'll be interesting to see um event number three giant dumbbell press for reps so it's 100 kilograms 75 seconds um not a lot to say about this there's you know the the circus dumbbells they're a lot of fun but uh yeah it's 100 kilograms in 75 seconds just get as many reps as you can i I kind of wonder if they're going to make another uh, fun looking one for this. It looks like maybe they're going to do something special on the ends of it or something. Um, that'd be kind of cool. I know World of Ultimate Strongman, they've, they've really, they seem to have a blast making these um, crazy looking implements as much as possible. So uh, maybe it'll be really fun to look at. Hopefully it doesn't have too many... Uh, spikes or anything like that because when you're pressing 100 kilograms overhead single-handed uh if you drop it you don't want a sharp edge or a spike or something to impale you so hopefully they keep that in mind um event number four carry and load so for this one they're saying um yeah 100 kilogram tire for 20 meters followed by 120 kilogram shield for 15 and then finally 140 kilogram atlas stone for 10 meters um these ones are always kind of fun i like i like watching these a little bit more um a lot of the athletes i don't think really care for these as much because there's a lot of sprinting involved and when you're 400 plus pounds sprinting does not come naturally um but yeah these are always kind of fun Tires, it'll be interesting because, um, you know, that's not a, that's not a, a very heavy tire necessarily, but but tires can be kind of awkward. Um, so, yeah, should be a fun event. I, I hope that they're going to do a really, 
crazy looking shield again. Um, they've had some fun ones in the past that they've made, especially for the uh, for the competition, for the event. So hopefully they're going to do kind of the same thing with that. Um, and then the final event, uh, 10, 10 stone Atlas stone run. Um, this has kind of become their thing where, you know, in the past we've done a lot of uh, five stone runs. There have been, you know, there have been some other ones in the past where they've done, uh, you know, six stone, stuff like that. Typical standard is kind of five stone. That's usually what you're going to end up seeing. Um, World Ultimate Strongman, they've kind of wanted to set themselves up differently. And so they've, they've brought in a ten stone run. Um, you know, 100 kilogram Atlas stone isn't that heavy. 225 is starting to get on the pretty heavy, uh, pretty heavy side. Um, and that's a lot of, uh, a lot of endurance, you know, even doing five stones starts working your, your, uh, cardio a lot more. So doing a 10 stone run going up to 225 kilograms, it's, um, it's, it, you know, it's fun, but, uh, but that's definitely more of an endurance thing. So it'll be interesting to see which athletes actually, uh, compete in this and which ones actually complete this. Uh, Tom Stoltman, of course, holds the record right now. So yeah, he did it in 40.7 seconds. That's an insane time. That's going so fast. I mean, that's, you know, that's one stone every four seconds. And so that's ripping it off the floor, getting it up on the podium, making sure it's stable, and then running to the next one. Um, that's pretty fast. So, yeah, it'll be interesting to see who all uh, who all does this, how well they do in it. Um, should be a fun event. I'm looking forward to it. So once again, uh, World Ultimate Strongman is going to be Saturday, February 27th. Um... Yeah, check it out. It's gonna be posted on uh, Core Sports, so I think if you want to watch it, you have to you have to watch it through Core Sports. Um, I don't think they're gonna have any you know YouTube live stream or anything like that available. But yeah, keep your eye out for it, and it's coming up sooner than uh, sooner than you think. So, anyways, that's about all for today. Once again, this is Isaac with Hunger Smash Fitness, and I uh, just remember to always include that one percent.